Yo, what up chana masala, sog paneer, and butter chicken. Those are some of my favorite dishes from Indian cuisine. Today we're going to combine skull grin and uh, Megatron. You can see that some of the parts are missing. Uh, the spearhead, you know, the arrowhead, I'm not using. And neither am I using that little tail bit for skull grin. I mean, I could have it on the build, but I don't really think it adds to it. So, um, yeah, that's the story. Okay, so this guy is fresh out the oven, so I may need to, yeah squeaky i may need to consult my phone for some images but i will try to prepare him based on memory um and so while i do that i just wanted to say what is up to everyone out there especially if this is your first time checking out the channel welcome 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 my friends uh, we have a lot of fun over here we do fan modes uh general reviews um i don't know yammer yammer and stuff like that uh but dude, speaking of indian food i was gonna say so one of my homies is indian and i'm talking about like from india not, not like, you know, how we used to refer to the native indigenous of this country. And um, he was like, yo, that's one of the most infuriating things about you Americans. And, you know, we're, we're just having fun talking and stuff. And I was like, what you mean, dude? And then he was like, dude, when I came over here and I was telling people that I was Indian, he's like, they're asking me, like, what tribe I was from. And then I started cracking up. He's like, no, seriously, think about it. He's like, imagine if you went to some country hand out hold up let me see if i remember how i did this i think i had this spun around i think this was yeah i think this was like this he was like imagine if you went to some country and there was a group of people there that they just called the koreans and i was like what he's like no think about it he's like you just go to some foreign country and then they have the indigenous people there of that land and they're just called the Koreans. How would you feel? I'd be like, yo, those aren't Koreans. I'm Korean. And he's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like, that's how I feel, dude. He's like, we're the original Indians, man. And I was like, fair enough, dude. That is a pretty hilarious take. Uh, but yeah, so my buddy was saying that. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, okay, so you saw what I did, right? We have the plasma fuser, fusion cannon or whatever still sandwiched between the forearms. And we've turned this around and so that the little um, shoulder bits are facing forward. And this is a this is a kind of cool mode too. Um, oh, you know what? No, this is incorrect. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be something like that. And this is actually going to be the front of the tank. And this is going to be the back. Weird, right? I know. I know. I know. I think we had this like this. And when I say we, I'm talking about the creative consciousness, uh, not the royal we or... I didn't build this with somebody else. It's just the creative consciousness. And this is a pretty fast build. That little peg right there, we are going to place into the hole inside the front of the cannon. And we're going to have to clean him up a little bit, but he's going to... Yo! <laughs> he's going to nestle in there. So you can already see it's coming together. And this was highly inspired by, like, you guys play Doom Eternal. Um, there's a dude on there. I think he's called the Hunter. Um... And, um, yeah, and the first person who who mentioned this this type of concept of using Megatron as the skiff, I think it was, uh, there's a homie on Instagram, and, and, and I really apologize if you're watching this and I butcher your name. I think his, his handle is Lizard Cave Reptiles. I think that's it. And, um, and I think it was homie who told me about using the, uh, what is it, the Megatron... Ah, why can't I talk right now? The Megatron tank basically as like the basis of the Doom Hunter. And I was like, that's such a great idea. And I think I have done one build using that concept. I don't know if I ever shared it to the channel right now. Sorry, I got I got to get this all cleaned up. Otherwise, my OCD is going to drive me crazy. I need both legs to be symmetric. Um, I think he's the one who mentioned it to me. Come on, lads. Okay. Even from the top, you can see it's symmetric. There we go. This head, though, it has a slight little weird bulge on it that makes it want to tilt to the right. Um, so after we've done this, we're going to get these bits, and we're just going to fold them and hide them under the arms as best as possible and fill up that gap. Dude, I can't. I don't know what's going on over here. Oh, whatever, dude. Good enough. 
So we're just doing that to fill up this gap because there was a space between this and this, right? And then at this point, we're just uh, we're just arming him up. Arm him, arm him. I think originally I used this to kind of um, do that, but I don't know. I kind of like seeing that actually. And rather than do that, maybe we'll just make this beefier. Yo, I kind of like that. I kind of like that even more. I might have to re redo the short because this is this is looking pretty good. Alrighty, tidy whities, check it out. <laughs> this is him. This is him. Ready to lock and lull. Pretty cool, right? Not the most complex build, but it does what it's supposed to do. And um, I think the fact that it's not that complicated also lends to some of the charm. Sorry about that squeak, 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 squeak. But yeah, fills out nice. Color pairing is decent. And uh, if you wanted to add the, what is it, the tail bit and stuff, you can find like a five milli somewhere where you can like tuck it in. And if you want to give him that big Megatron sword, um, the arrowhead, you can do that too. Yeah, but otherwise, yeah, this is our guy. Inspired by the Doom Hunter. Um, also inspired by, again, Lizard Cave uh, Reptiles. And uh, yeah, one Megatron, one Siege Megatron, and one Legacy Skullgrin. And you, my friend, can make this at home and have a great time. Huzzah. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you come back soon. Uh, and if you watched this far and you are new to this channel, just know that all of the ad revenue, all that stuff goes to help charity. And so you're helping out, and I appreciate it very, very much, okay? Have a nice day. Bye.